this was a conclusion of a research project that I formed when I was an undergraduate, which is what's wrong with Lionel Robbins' position that economics is founded on an intuitively obvious truths. And the test is, do they appeal to your intuition? And if they do, then anything that you conclude must be right. And facts are an illustration, but not a test of the, of the theory. And uh, <coughs> this really worried me. And then when I found myself uh, on Lionel, and a member of Lionel's staff, I talked around and found some of the other young people were disturbed by this kind of methodology that all you did was sit around and argue whether this appealed to your intuition or not to test your theories. And we formed the London, the um, LSE, the um, LSE uh, seminar on methodology, measurement, and testing, now called the M squared T seminar. Mm -hmm. And uh, we read Popper and talked to Yossela Gassi and other people, and slowly came to the conclusion that uh, the Popperian view, uh, the uh, Popperian view was the right one, and the uh, Robbins view was the wrong one, and. Mm -hmm. and uh, so I wrote Positive Economics in a, in a fit of proselytizing to try and say that uh, you know, the way to study economics and the way to judge its validity is does it make statements that are mm. consistent with the evidence. Mm. And that was the whole purpose of it. And uh, mm. um, Before I wrote that book, most people in England in the economics department sat around arguing about the intuitive plausibility of the mm. theories and when the book was finished, they spent their time saying, well, let's see how we could test the theories. <laughs> mm -hmm. uh, the other people, like Cowell's Commission, of course, have been on to the same thing, but mm -hmm. the, the prevailing methodology before I wrote that book was Robbins. Mm -hmm. And of course, it, it struck an enormous chord and, mm -hmm. and uh, became a, an instant bestseller. Uh, how many copies, roughly, do you think <coughs> have sold? Well, it's been translated into about 20 foreign languages. And, uh, and of course, it has an American edition, um, which was changed quite dramatically. But at the beginning, it was almost the same. The uh, the English one plus its translations, which the ones I really like, probably two to three million. Yes. And the American one, something something the same.